Part 9, Nightmare Act 4. It wasn't until Planes of Despair that I ran into a few issues. Souls. Thankfully, I do have 75 lightning resistance, but with the high amounts of lightning damage that the souls give, sometimes 75 lightning resistance isn't enough. Take souls with extreme caution and never let them group up around you. Izzel wasn't really much of a threat, and he would have died a lot faster if I actually had a lower resist wand on him. I find another gem shrine and I want to make a perfect sapphire for crafting. Make sure you remove all other gems out of your inventory before re-rolling the gem that you want. I gambled some pretty neat gloves when I was looking for something to craft. 20 lightning resistance and 20 to attack speed are really awesome. Although I'm doing quite a bit of damage at the moment, I opt to keep using my chance guards for now, but still save these really great gloves. Back to Hephaesto. Be careful of the modifiers that he can roll as he can be very deadly with extra strong and the correct aura. And with a 1, 2, and 3, we get a soul from Nightmare Hellforge. Here I try to hit the seal, but it just isn't working, so with some WD-40 in just the right spots, it'll eventually open. Lord They Say is a little bit tricky, so make sure to try and lure some of the mobs away and never take his pack head on. Thankfully, with our high amount of damage from Lightning Fury, we were able to take out the pack fairly quickly. Infector of Souls can be a bit tricky, especially where he spawns on the map. Here we were kind of trapped, but with our decoy placed in the proper spot and the Valkyrie and the Mercenary as tanks, we make quick work of them. Seriously, is this even player's aid? Now for Nightmare Diablo. Nightmare Diablo is slightly bugged with Lightning Hose. If you stand in just the right spot fairly close to him, the Lightning Hose will pass right over your character and Mercenary. Remember, if you are not standing in the proper spot, he can still do a lot of damage to you. Again, Lower Resist Wand would be very handy for this fight too, so I go back to town and find a Lower Resist Wand at Jamela. Also, it can be good practice to take some thawing potions, especially with being so close to Diablo, avoiding cold slap damage. Coming back, I had a little bit of a misadventure of getting bone prison, but I quickly made a TP to get back out. And the lower resist one chunks him down even further. After Diablo, I decided to do a little bit of shopping and farming and find a 30 all resistance shield at Charcy. Although, I don't really need the resistance. If you're struggling with resistance, this is probably the best item to pick up. I also start looking for some gloves to craft and land these beauties. 2 to javelin skills, 20 increased attack speed, dexterity, and fire resistance. Absolutely amazing gloves. When farming up bosses, I use the gloves that give me more attack speed and damage. And right when they're about to die, I switch over for chance guards for additional magic find. This is a great way to farm up bosses without sacrificing too much gear. Enjoy the video? Make sure to like and subscribe the channel for more videos. Playing along? Post a comment below if you're finding so far. Or you can watch live at twitch.tv slash